okay have a look on it before going to the transfer section we have to take a concept that the cortical fibers how they come into the bones from the cortex they are supposed to enter into the bones via internal capsule okay and in both sides of the bones we have got pontine nuclei so these fibers are coming and form corticopontine fibers and they crisscross now what they are gonna do they are supposed to enter into the cerebellum through the middle cerebellar peduncle right you can see on both sides and in this way they are now making the corticoponto cerebellar pathway right these are the corticopontine fibers and when they continue into the cerebellum they form the corticoponto cerebellar right now we are going to learn the transverse section of the pons its caudal part or lower part which is present at the level of facial colliculus okay for this first we have to learn the various parts that was the basilar side or ventral side of the pons right so that is the posterior surface of the pons right okay so in the or along the posterior surface you can see that the fourth ventricle that is wider and is opened right there is no wall on the back right okay one main important feature that helps you that we are supposed to learn the pons at the inferior level lower level or at the level of facial colliculus right okay so concentrate that now we can get that in this basilar part right from here to here we have got so many dotted red nuclei these are pontine nuclei right and these nuclei are going to give rise to fibers they crisscross from one side to the other and forming the pontine fibers right and they have to run through the middle cerebellar peduncle and of course as we already discussed if you imagine the gross structure these fibers are coming straight away from the cerebral cortex right so cortico pontine fibers and finally cortico ponto cerebellar pathway because this cerebral fibers when join the pontine nuclei they are now entering through the middle cerebral peduncle into the very portion the cerebellum right okay one thing in common that this basilar part is similar in upper pons and lower pons so there is nothing different the features we will learn here will be similar but uh, just posterior part which is called as tegmental part there we get differences which we have to focus okay so this portion which again you see as a criss cross fibers and it is making the trapezoid body